Hi, in the last couple of videos we covered installing the MySQL database uh, server and installing and yes, and installing a database to the server. Uh, in this video we're going to continue to build our development environment uh, by installing Perl. It's a programming language. We're going to install a particular distribution of Perl known as Active Perl. Um, there are other distributions. I prefer this one. I find it easier to maintain. So uh, we're going to do this on both uh, Microsoft and Apple platforms. We're going to start with Windows. So we're going to open Internet Explorer and go into our search window. And yeah, look at that, it's right up there. Active. It's an Active Perl. Here's the URL here. It is www.activestate.com slash Active Perl. Okay. And we select between different editions here. We're going to get the free community edition. It's free and uh, very adequate for what we're doing. Okay. Yep, and defaults right to the version for, it's for Windows. Um, that's the platform we're on. Okay, we're going to you can choose up here between 32 and 64 bit versions. Uh, as I said before, unless you're running a very old computer, you likely have 64-bit windows, uh, as I do here. So we're going to download the 64-bit version. Okay. And select Save the Installer. Shouldn't take very long. It's not a very large file. Downloaded. Now we're going to open the folder downloaded to. Okay, we got a couple of them here. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the installer. Okay, we're just going to go with this with the defaults, accept the license agreement. Okay, and leave those uh, selected. Install. Yes. Okay. And this takes a minute, so I'll probably cut this in editing. For time's sake. But in the meantime, let it finish. Okay. The installer has finished. So we can click finish. Okay. Now we can be using the Pro Tools quite a bit from the command line. So we need to make sure those tools are in our system, our operating system's path, and do this uh, precisely the same way you did. We uh, made sure the MySQL uh, server tools were in the system in the system path. So uh, go down to Windows 8, or excuse me, 8.1. Right-click on the Start icon, or the Windows icon, and System, and System Settings environment variables. Okay, we're going to scroll down to path, make sure that's selected. I guess I should show you where the path is first. <coughs> Let's go back into a file explorer. Okay, over here, uh, the default, um, under Windows, the default uh, install location for 64-bit Perl is in the root directory for C drive. Uh, in a f subfolder called Perl64. There it is. And we need to make sure this folder here, bin, the subfolder, uh, is, in our, uh, is in our path. So let's go ahead and do that. Click that dialog here. Let me edit uh, environment variables. Path is selected. Click edit. Let's go to the end of that line. We want to add a semicolon. And then the path, C colon slash Perl 64 slash bin. Okay, that and we now have a baseline Perl install on Windows. Uh, we'll now move on to moving on to the Macintosh. Um, 
I have actually already installed Active Pro on this system, so I can actually do it again, but I will kind of go through the steps for, to demonstrate. Uh, obviously, of course, you would download the software first, fire up your web browser, and in the navigation bar, type Active Pro, I'm going to bring up, oh, actually, yeah, because I've been there before, that's activestate.com. Actually, if you're on the web page, you just go to Languages and go to Active Pearl. Okay, there we go. Now I'll take you to the Active Pearl page. And once again, we're going to select the Active Pearl Free Community Edition. Okay. We'll go here and we'll download it as a disk image. So, and once again, oh, there we go. Goes right into the download manager. Pull that up so you can watch it. Monitor it right here. Take a moment, so I'll probably uh, speed, kind of speed through this during editing. Okay, the download is completed. So, we're going to click that there. It should mount the disk image, which it just did. Okay, and you would double click on the package icon to start the installer. Yes, thank you, security. Okay, you have to right click it and select open under uh, OS, OS 10. Okay, let's start the installer. Like I said, I'm going to skip the, this because I've already done it. So, but you you would click, click through the steps, continue, down that, and continue. And I'm going to report it right about here because I've already done it. But we can continue, let it install. Just accept, just accept any defaults here. Okay, now just like when. Under Windows, I'm going to be using the Pro Development Tools from the terminal a lot, which means uh, we need to make sure those tools are access accessible in your in your path. Otherwise, you're going to have to type the full path in every time you want to use them. That's uh, inconvenient. So let's get out of here. Now, the procedure to edit your path under uh, OS 10. First off, let's uh, see what see where those tools were installed. So you can open. Uh, actually, you're going to want to open directly from uh, the, the uh, link to your hard drive. If you left your uh, operating system installed alone, there'll be, be a link icon, be a shortcut right to it. Okay. That is an unholy mess. Let's uh, clean that up a bit. Better. There we go. Okay, jumping in, it's going to, Active Pro is going to install into USR, which stands for user. There we go. Local, Active Pro, and then be a dash, usually, and then the version number, which in this case is 5.20. Okay, so we need to. You see the, all the subfolders. Okay, now to edit a path under OS at 10, go and start up terminal. Okay, by default, that's going to open into your home directory. Okay, and you're going to need to edit or create call, the file called uh, dot bash underscore uh, profile. Okay, I already have such a file, so what we're going to do. Um, Use the text editor of your choice. You can do it to plain old text edit. I'm used to uh, Vim. I'm going to start that. So vim.bash profile. Okay, I see you can see I've already done it. So um, what you type, there's, there are two entries for uh, Active Pro. You can see here, you need to type path equals from the path to the uh, Active Pro bin subfolder. So here is usr slash usr slash local slash active pro. Bear in mind OS 
OS X is case sensitive, so yes, you need to you need to uppercase the A and the P in Active Pro. Then dash 5.20 slash bin, then colon, and all up, and then the dollar, dollar sign, then all uppercase path. The second entry is path equals slash USR slash local slash active pearl dash 5.20 slash site slash bin colon dollar sign path. Then the final line is export path. I haven't changed anything here, so we can just quit them. Okay, then you need to restart terminal to make bring the changes into effect. And I'm going to go ahead and start. It's going to fold because I'm not doing it correctly. I'm just going to hang because you're supposed to type in the name of a of a Perl source file after that, and that tells it to execute it. Just gonna hang. I didn't type in the name of the source file. We're gonna kill it. There. Okay. Exit. And Active Perl is now installed on uh, Mac OS. Uh, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.